Welcome back to our Numismatic channel. In today's episode, we're kicking things off with a highlight on the 1943 Lincoln Cent. For those of you new to the world of coin collecting, it's important to note that in 1943, the U.S. Mint made a significant shift to zinc-coated steel planchettes for pennies. This change was made to conserve copper for the war effort, so the unique coloration of the 1943 cent isn't particularly unusual. However, there's another aspect of this coin that sets it apart from the rest. It features a mint error known as the double die obverse. This error is evident in the thickness of the letters in Liberty and in the date numerals, especially the nine, which shows a distinctly doubled tail. According to the Cherry Picker's Guide, this coin is one of the strongest class six double dies in the series and has always been very popular among Lincoln Cent collectors. This exceptional piece received a grade of MS67 from PCGS and was sold for $2,280 at Heritage Auctions on March 29th, 20, in 24. Presenting a 1947 S. Jefferson Nickel, graded Mint State 67, a true gem in the world of numismatics. The release of this coin saw significant hoarding by collectors, ensuring a wide availability of Mint State examples. Nonetheless, the quality among these pieces can vary greatly, necessitating a discerning eye from collectors to find an ideal specimen. The coin we're discussing stands out remarkably, boasting both superior luster and an exacting strike, a synergy seldom seen, as many examples typically feature one or the other. It also possesses the coveted full steps designation, indicating a fully struck depiction of the Monticello porch on its reverse, a detail that greatly appeals to enthusiasts and collectors alike. This rare and desirable nickel ultimately commanded a price of $2,340 at auction, uh, underscoring its exceptional quality and the high regard in which it is held within the numismatic community. Shifting our focus to the 1955 Lincoln Cent, featuring a double die obverse. Among the various double dies in the Lincoln Cent series, the 1955 FS101 stands out. Though not the rarest, it is by far the most dramatic and the most famous, making it highly sought after. This choice red and brown specimen showcases subtle hints of burgundy toning atop a coppery red satin luster, enhancing its allure. Its precise strike further enhances its desirability. This particular coin was sold for $4,680 at Heritage Auctions. Here we spotlight a 1958 Roosevelt dime, distinguished by its captivating toning. While it's a common issue from the Denver Mint, finding one in MS-68 condition with full bands definition is exceptionally rare. A quick tip for beginner collectors. To qualify for a full bands designation, a Roosevelt dime must exhibit full separation and distinctness in both the upper and lower bands of the torch on the coin's reverse. The line dividing the bands should be continuous and complete. This particular coin is graded as an MS-68 superb gem with a plus designation, marking it as one of the finest known examples. It boasts vivid tones of gold, amber, forest green, and violet on both sides, making its eye appeal truly outstanding. This remarkable piece fetched thatched $1,800 at an auction on March 29th, 2024. Take a look at this circulated and tarnished 1936 Lincoln Cent. Surprisingly, despite its condition, this penny fetched $1,680 at a Stax Bowers auction. The high interest in this coin stems from its rare error, known as a wrong planchet error. Essentially, this 1936 Lincoln Cent was mistakenly struck on a Nicaraguan 10-cent planchette. The lower part of the obverse and the upper part of the reverse have been lightly cleaned, revealing a semicircle of pale, silvery metal where faint hairlines are visible upon close examination. The rest of the coin's surface retains a deep, mottled milk chocolate patina, free from any significant blemishes. The coin is ideally centered, though the tops of In God We slightly spill off the edge, uh, yet the legends on the reverse are fully intact. This serves as a reminder that if your pennies exhibit unusual coloration or weight, it's worth taking a closer look or consulting a numismatic expert. Notice something unusual about the appearance of this 1994 Roosevelt dime? It might look as though it was struck with a hammer, but that's not the case. This peculiar dime is actually an error coin produced by the Philadelphia branch of the U.S. Mint, known as a broad-struck coin. 
In numismatics, a broad-struck error occurs when a coin is minted without being correctly seated in the coining chamber. This means the coin isn't fully encased by the collar, uh, a ring-shaped device that shapes the coin and ensures it has the proper dimensions and edge design. As a result, the coin is struck with too much force, causing it to spread or expand beyond its intended size and shape. This particular broad-struck Roosevelt dime was auctioned for $312 at Stax Bowers. And now, the highlight of today's episode, a numismatic gem ranked among the 100 greatest U.S. modern coins. We're looking at a 1968 Roosevelt dime that astonishingly lacks the S mint mark. The year 1968 marked the inaugural minting of these proofs at the San Francisco Mint. Remarkably, a limited batch estimated to be around two dozen pieces, was minted using a die that had not been properly imprinted with the S mint mark. This particular specimen boasts a captivating band of golden orange hue at the upper obverse, while the rest of its surfaces shine with a brilliant luster. Graded PR69 by PCGS, this proof dime fetched an impressive sum of $45,600 at a Heritage Auctions event. As we wrap up today's journey through numismatic treasures, we hope you've enjoyed the incredible stories and rarities we've shared. Each coin has its own unique story, a testament to history, artistry, and the occasional quirk of fate. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just beginning to explore the fascinating world of numismatics, there's always something new to discover. If you found value in our episode, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button. Your support helps us continue to uncover and share these captivating stories with all of you. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest episodes and dive deeper into the rich tapestry of numismatic history. We're always eager to hear from our viewers, so please leave your thoughts, questions, or discoveries in the comments below. Perhaps you have a numismatic rarity of your own to share. Thank you for joining us today. Keep exploring, keep collecting, and remember, the next great find could be just a coin flip away. Until next time, happy collecting.